Hello friends, this is Abby Jo at Forgotten Way Farms. And in today's video, we're going back to the demo and installation of the cabinets back in November. I wasn't able to share this footage due to needing to get out our holiday videos. So a little rewind going from November to the end of December. I hope you enjoy seeing all the work, time and labor that went into the first stage of our double wide mobile home kitchen remodel. It's been a journey fixing up our home and I can't wait to show you so much more of it in the weeks and months to come. Thank you for following along. My husband and son worked on a weekend to get the kitchen done, tearing up the main area that we cook, prep food, and generally spend a lot of time in. Not easy and it was quite a messy job. Often you won't see my husband in the video because he stops to film, climbs a ladder for a good shot. There was a lot of water damage behind the cabinets, so we were really glad to get them out and fix the problem areas. There is a lot of starting and stopping in the filming process. Sometimes he'll just use a tripod or one of us will film him. But just documenting the remodeling is quite the process in itself. I often would cook a quick, easy meal in the pause of construction. 
We ordered pizza a couple times too, just to make less dishes when the sink was pulled out for a day and a half. As you see from the video, there is a lot of mess, dust, and grime all around the process of a remodel. It's worth it in the end though. This is the first phase of the kitchen remodel. We will be adding brick to one wall in the kitchen. All new windows. The square cutouts in the wall are for two new windows. We have new vent hood to install over the stove. Lots of trim, which will be the second stage of the install in the kitchen. It was a bit like camping in our own home. Daniel had just installed our new wood stove and started the first fire in it. Bitter before the sweet, ugly before the beautiful, and this is the process of making a beautiful area. I know a lot of you saw the Christmas tour and everything all beautiful, but I still wanted to show you the remodel journey including all the ugly parts. When our oldest daughter visited us in November, she made the kids this fun cardboard lighted fort. They have used it so much over the last couple months and loved it.
dishes are piled high everywhere, not having cabinets or even a spot to put them in. I found these organic maple syrups at TJ Maxx for such a reduced price. I grabbed them to stock up on my maple syrup for the year. We love maple syrup for pancakes, baked goods, and coffee lattes. And finally, our beautiful dual conversion stove came. The stove that came with the house had seen better days and was filthy. Once the snow started to really fall in November, we had to plastic most of the windows because they're old, drafty, and had some cracks in them too. We ordered all new windows for the house this summer, but due to supply chain shortages, our windows didn't come until the fall, and we decided not to install until the spring, being that it's rather cold outside. Just days after Christmas, my littlest daughter and I are making my mom's cranberry apple jello salad. Whenever she sees me cooking, she runs for the stool and is ready to stir, roll out dough, or sample so much of the cooking. It's been messy work getting this house in shape, but the joy of baking and spending time with my family in this new remodeled kitchen space brings me such joy.
I'm going to end this video with my daughter's birthday tea party. She requested to watch one of our favorite Jane Austen movies, Persuasion, and just hang out together. We had a birthday party in the evening for her with the family, but this was just a special mom and daughter tea party. I wish you all cozy, warm winter evenings. See you soon.